Let's talk about visual programming. In Visor we have a beautiful visual programming editor that you can use to control the scene and add interactions, animations and do your own programs. So you notice in the top menu we have buttons here, build and program. Build is this where you kind of drag and drop objects on the screen, but in program you see the graph. And the graph here represents all the elements in our scene. So let's investigate this a little bit. We have these boxes here, sky, ground, rocket and hemisphere light. So those are the elements that make up this scene. They are connected to the scene patch here and the scene patch is connected to the renderer. And the renderer is represented by the VR camera here on the screen, the guy wearing the headset. So how does this work? We have here a list of patches. So when you're in program mode you get this list of patches. And from this list you can drag, drag and drop stuff onto the scene. So let's open add objects. And this is actually the very same list of things we have in the build menu. With the difference that when I drop this box here in the graph, I get the box. But then I have to myself connect it. So I see that it has an object 3 data type and that can be connected to the scene. So I can, I can just drag from the dot here to the dot in the scene and our box shows up here. And now I can move it in the visual editor mode. I can quickly change between these two modes by pressing tab like this. So when the graph is hidden I can use the handles to move it and when I press tab I get the graph and when the graph is on then I can't use the handles but I can modify all the things from the graph side of things. So these purple boxes are nested patches so that means there is built logic inside and we can click the pen icon here to see what they actually contain. So this for example is the sky. The sky has a color picker determin determining the sky color. We can change it from here. And it has some environment settings for the fog. We can set, see, uh, we can set how far or near the fog starts to appear, like this. So we get all these parameters in here. The orange boxes are outputs. So we can have inputs and outputs and with those you can route data in and out from nested patches. So this for example routes the object 3D out from this sky patch. On the top menu here we have a breadcrumb. So right now we are inside the sky patch and if we click the root we can go back to the root. The patches can be collapsed with the arrow right like this if you want to have more space in your graph. We can disconnect them by clicking and dragging and then we can reconnect them like this. All the basic edit functions work here in the visual programming so for example we can do command C command V or control on PC to copy or control X to cut or we can select and hit delete or backspace to delete the patch. We can have a marquee selection to select many things at once and delete many things at once. We can hit Ctrl Z for undo which I just did. So you can use these basic edit options here. And the patches list which I closed a while ago it can be reopened from the patches button up here like this. There is a search and you can search for the patches or you can visually view them right here. And also when you hit right key on your mouse you get an alphabetical list of all the patches. So there are two ways of, of adding those to your scene. The patches cover a quite a big range of things you can do. They go from you know adding basic geometry, animation stuff, arrays, audio, cameras, clocks, we have codial modulators, we have data type converters, different debug tools, the list goes on. There's all the logic you may, may need, there's 
a lot of math, we have vector math, all kinds of stuff. One of the most important ones is the is values. So if you want to add like a number, you find it here. So value number gives you a patch where you can we can write in a number. So the values ones are very useful. And we can also of course use the search. So if I search for number, here it is, and I can just hit enter and it appeared on screen or I can just drag and drop it like this delete and delete the basic idea of visual programming is that data is flowing from left to right and you connect similar data types same data types to each other and data types are things like floats and num or numbers or they can be boolean logic so on off 0 1 they can be vectors they can be textures they could be video audio we support many different data types when you actually mouse over a slot you will see which is the data type so this one is object 3d in fact all of these are because scene uh, takes in object 3ds but let's go inside, for example, the let's go inside the hemisphere light. So these have two color settings for the light. So if I mouse over this, I can see the type is color. So this is color data type, and that's connected to the color slot of the hemisphere light. So that's the basic idea. You connect same data types to each other, and you always can find out the data type by mouse overing the slot for example scale here is a vector so you can connect vectors to that and if you want to for example connect a number to a vector slot you would have to convert it first using a converter which you can find in the in the patches list, list under converters so on right click converters and we have xyz to vector and then i can connect that and then i could now connect a number to these slots if I wanted to manipulate it by numbers so this is the very very basics of visual programming and we will be getting a lot more deep into this stuff in the future videos thank you for watching